Hello biology class, welcome back to another lecture. You can see we've got lesson four titled Hormones. I'll tell you right off the bat that this is a shorter lesson than the last couple. I think lesson two is almost 15 minutes. This one is definitely not gonna be that long. You'll be pleasantly surprised. You can see the key points above me, ADH, aldosterone, and adrenal glands. Uh, we've talked about adrenal glands just a little bit before. So some of this might be new. Uh, but I think it will flow nicely. Um, so lesson four, here we go. Kidney hormones. So we have two specific hormones that we're going to talk about that are produced near or at the kidneys. Um, there are many, many more. There are tons of hormones, but these are two main ones that we are going to focus on. Um, again, kidney, kidneys are bean-shaped organs that are responsible for not only excreting waste, but managing water balance. And that's what these hormones are gonna focus on. Uh, the first one is antidiuretic hormone or ADH. So a diuretic like caffeine will make you produce more urine. So uh, if you're in a situation where you don't want to have to pee, you do not want to ingest a diuretic. Um, antidiuretic should do the opposite. It should make you pee less. So it should stop water from uh, entering your urine and hold it into your bloodstream. Um, another hormone is aldosterone, and I'll let you kind of think about what that one might do if I told you that antidiuretic hormone does one thing. What does aldosterone do? I'll leave you hanging for a few slides. These are the structures of ADH and aldosterone. Don't worry about them. Just know that they are really large molecules, a lot of hormones are, um, and this is kind of what they look like. So ADH first. Uh, ADH is produced in the brain and it acts on the kidneys. Uh, its primary job is to regulate the amount of water that is excreted by the kidneys. Uh, it causes, what it does is it causes your arteries to relax, specifically your renal arteries and the glomularis. Um, and what that does is it lowers the blood pressure and to have filtration through the glomularis and through Bowman's capsule, you need lots of pressure. So if you relax that pressure, you're going to get less filtration, you're going to get less liquids pushed into the proximal tubule. And that's the liquid that's in the proximal tubule is what turns into urine. Uh, it also causes water to be absorbed more from the proximal tubule, the loop of Henle and the distal tubule the entire time. It is drawing water out of the filtrate and back into the bloodstream. So you are, you are creating less urine. It is becoming more concentrated. You often have more yellow pee if you're producing antidiuretic hormone. Uh, you'll also have to go pee less if you're producing antidiuretic hormone. And the thing that causes you to produce this hormone is if you're dehydrated and if, you, if your body needs to keep water uh, inside your body. Uh, you don't want to... Uh, be peeing out a lot of urine if you want to keep it within you. Aldosterone is our other one, and it is produced in the adrenal glands that are located on top of the kidney. Uh, it does not control water uptake, uh, so I let you guess. But uh, <laughs> What it really does is it controls mineral uptake. So this one is about uh, all about the sodium and potassium, the small ions that filter back and forth. Um, what it does is it allows uh, temporary channels to be made that allows these electrolytes, sodium, potassium, and others to flow back into the bloodstream. And if it's flowing back into the bloodstream, um, then we are losing less of it. Um, so ADH controls your water balance and aldosterone is the hormone that controls your um, electrolyte balance, all of the different things that flow back and forth that aren't water from your uh, loop of Henle into your bloodstream. The adrenal glands, uh, key point three, are located on top of the kidneys. They produce a ton of different hormones, including aldosterone, but they're best known for secreting adrenaline or epinephrine. Uh, adrenaline has many functions. Uh, it's involved in the fight or flight response. Essentially, if you are scared or if you're excited or if your heart is pumping, that is adrenaline working. What it does is it directs blood um, to your most important organs like your heart and your lungs and you get less blood flow to your kidneys. 
produces less urine uh, over this time, but adrenaline is usually a short acting hormone. So it is more involved in this emergency situation. So again, we have the adrenal glands with our bean shaped kidneys. We have our aorta, renal artery, renal vein, um, inferior vena cava back up to the heart. That is the main portions of their urinary system there. And if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Uh, study up, um, hand in your booklet, and complete the test. And at this time, there is no um, your job section here. There may be in the future, but not at this time. Thanks very much for watching, everyone. Short lesson, under six minutes. Thank you.